In this men's semifinal, the top two in the nation, Pony and Truck, meet again. Jabron Mieser, Antoine Davis, and others. Osgar looking for Garvey, and he skies over the elevating Luke Rafis for the opening New York score. Malk's a little shimmy, and then he throws it away as Ben Katz gets it in the third lane in the backfield. First turn of the game gives New York a chance on the goal line. John Randolph played both the first O point and the first D point, and somehow he makes the catch off the ricochet. How did he do that? Love to see Jacques get more touches. Oh my goodness, Cam Warner anticipated the throw before it went off and gives Pony its second break chance. Pretty good defense from Andrew Roy and the difficult throw up the line ripped down by the lanky youngster from the Netherlands, Ben Ort. McDonald, cross field, Wodach with the left hand pulls it in. Another red zone opportunity for truck stop. Just a couple of incredible throws there. First, McDonald, just an absolute pocket pass to Wodach, and then Wodach the scuba upwind to reset. In tomorrow's championship game, but Revolver's currently down 11-9 to Chain Lightning in the second half, and Pony got a little clogged up there offensively, and a chance for the truck stop D-line to convert as Cranston makes the toe tap catch near the sideline. Kotcher's on fall at the back of the stack as the huck goes up. Cranston versus Osgar, and it's Cranston. Garfi shows in the backfield and then throws up line, and Edmonds ripped it away from Mickle. And there's no call, and Truck Stop has another break chance. Truck Stop still has a timeout to burn, but it doesn't want to burn it against this tired Pony O line. And there's no need to burn it, Ian, because Jasper Tom. Little, Kotcher, Osgar, Randolph, and Garvey currently downfield. Now Osgar comes in the backfield, but Alexan Fall beat him to the spot. Observers keep it up. Merriman gets it to Bloodgood, who throws to the end zone, and it's Fall keeping that one alive. Looking to play a small three-man game to start, and another block from David Cranston. DC just suffocating New York defensively right now. Second block for Cranston and another truck stop score. So I understand the idea and even talked about the idea of not burning a timeout. Merriman and Farah both there. It's tipped and it's caught and truck stop takes half on a Fred Farah deflected sky. 8-4 DC on a six Nothing, Rampage. By the way, DC Landslide sounds like a name of a future ultimate team in the district. You can have that one for free. If it hasn't been used already. Deep shot, Sam Little, got it. Truck stop doubling up, Pony 10-5. Nissen to Ort for the score. Beats Davis deep. Yeah. Those, those great teams have. Edmonds rips it, and Farah, full extension, adds to the onslaught. You think Jasper was looking for you know, like mutual agreements and going to the Observer? And he's like, I'm down to go to the Observer, but what do you think? Because it only takes one to go to the Observer. Deep shot, fall, chasing, got it. The route is on, ladies and gentlemen. And so I think that I can boil that down into who is their O-line missing most. Yes, Jack played some O when the going got tough, and you could put Jack there any time. But I think based on what we saw at the U.S. Open, Ben Yacht is who they're missing most. I would agree. Elliot Chartok from Jimmy Mickle there to Davis. Warner's going deep. Throw's going up. McDonald there to help, and he gets the block. Ort makes the adjustment and flips it to Boxley to finish the job. 15-7. And Truck Stop makes a strong statement heading into October. 